Hi, I'm Rich McGee from Minarel Consulting, and I'm going to talk about how to create an action script on the fly in DRM. Why would you want to do this? Well, it'll help you make quick property changes to DRM hierarchies or members. It uses objects that are already in DRM. You can use this over and over again. You can also avoid having to create an action script from scratch every time you need one. There's less margin for error versus manually writing a script. And since we're going to save this and use it as a template and use it over again, it's going to save us time. There's really nothing difficult about doing this. All you need to do is create a defined property and create an export. First, let's create the defined property. Go to the Home tab, click Administer, New, then Property Definition. I'm naming my property Action underscore Change Prop. You can fill in a description in the description area if you wish. I chose to describe my property as holds the value change prop. Next, type in the word change prop into the default value field. Note that I've assigned this property to the action scripts category that I've created before. Now save the property. Now let's create the export. Go to the home tab, click export, then new export and select hierarchy as the type of export. Once there, Select the version you want to work with. In my case, LSTYA underscore DRM. You will need to provide a top node for the export. This is the starting point for going down the tree. This can be done by clicking on the Add button in the bottom right corner of the screen. I'm going to select Margin as the top node. Now let's go to the Columns tab. On the left, we want to select the category named Action Scripts. Next, move the Change Prop property to the selected area. That's the one we just created. Now, do the same for version name and hierarchy name. These can both be found in the system category. Now we're going to create two columns of our own, one to hold the name of the property that we are changing and one to hold the value that we want the property changed to. To do that, we are going to go to the export specific property category. Once the category is selected, choose dynamic column and move it over to the selected area. You'll be prompted to name the column. I chose property name. Now create a dynamic column the same way for property value. I call this column property value. Here's the list of columns. Click on the column options tab. Next, using the pencil icon on the right, edit the property name column. Type in used underscore in underscore EPBCS. That is the property name we wish to affect. Save the column by using the disk icon on the right. From the property value column, type in the word true for the property value. Then save it using the disk icon on the right. Navigate to the target tab. Select a connection, then a file name. Next, select comma as the field delimiter. Now save the export. We're going to give the export a name. I named mine action script underscore export. Once again, you can choose to give this export a description as I did. Finally, run the export using the play button. Now locate the changeprop.txt file that was just created. I only have three accounts in my system right now, but you can see the file is now ready to be run as an action script. 